Oh, oh my God! Oh. Wow. <laughs> Wow, incredible. good morning forever. <laughs> good morning to everybody in the room from down here to way up here. Wow. It's a real pleasure and a privilege to be with you all this morning and uh, to share a little information about this incredible opportunity linked to this company called Forever Living. Prior to being involved with Forever, my background was large farm estate management and horses. So you could say I was a farmer. I had a great way of life, but like so many people, I think I was probably working too long for too little and with no real direction of where I could take myself in my life. My name's John, John Curtis, and uh, prior... <laughs> <laughs> Prior to forever, um, I, st I started my working career actually not very far from where we are now, in the city of London as a commercial surveyor. And um, they were long hours. I didn't really enjoy the work. And then I went into the corporate world and enjoyed that even less. Uh, and the thing I really didn't enjoy about it was I didn't like the job, and it was separating me from my family. And at the time when we met forever, um, we had slipped into debt. Uh, the bank had taken away the house, and the worrying thing was that our debt was increasing by $1,500 every single month. So we were really pleased to find this opportunity. But perhaps you're in the audience today in the O2. Uh, you come along to have a look-see what we do. Maybe you're part of our worldwide televised audience doing the same thing. So what we'd like to do is to do a new presentation on the business opportunity forever. So, who are we? Who is this company forever? What do we do? Simple question, isn't it? What do we do, this company forever? How do we do it? Hello. To answer the question, perhaps, if you're looking at it for the first time, why you might choose to join us for your reasons. So who are we? Well, the company was founded in 1978 by one man who's still at the helm. Um, had a remarkable yeah. vision. Now that looks okay there. to me. And Definitely. A unique combination vision. Definitely. Um, oh, here is the chatty the thing. Good. I thought I'd send you the document I made. If you can have a look at it before Thursday. Um, <coughs> how's your week been? Yeah, it's been nice. It's been really good. We've, I've done very little in terms of, because I thought, oh, I'll at least send 10 messages every day, kind of from my Facebook contacts and stuff, but it just didn't really work out that I had any space to sit down and do it. So I thought, okay, just have a week off more properly. So apart from a blast of chatting with people on Wednesday morning to get them to go to the training on Wednesday evening. Nina's like, you're supposed to be on holiday. What are you doing? Messaging me like this. But she's got a point. But also, I know, like with Sharon and Gary, if I don't do it, I don't think, I don't know if Gary went or not. Right, it's, yes, I've been a bit, I just went outside and it's not at all as nice as I thought it would be. Yeah, but, you know, I want it to be nice now, so that we can, we, I'm supposed to go to the allotment with Andy and Misha this afternoon, but that's not going to happen. <laughs> that's not going to happen. So what's your, you want to know what I was doing with the, hang on. Yeah. So then, Yes, there's somebody in the audience who's seen their own office. Scandinavian <laughs> yeah. We, we, yeah. No, no, it's not that. Um, I'm following what um, what someone did on the last success day. She did like a consultant because what Julie Richard does is just like the one 
meeting and then a bit of kind of follow-ups was on the training they had on the success day it was more you have a 30-day agreement that you speak to them once a week and then you have a much more structured this is what you do on each planning meeting no i'm just uh i was about to do that now i need to find it uh Exactly, and it, for me, I've kind of sat. I've I've done it with both Nina and Gary and Sharon when I've sat down and I said, okay, I want to meet with you once a week, and then we have this, and and I explain to them that this is a process we go through, and that you can't really continue with the next process unless they do, what you know, just to put it a bit more formally, uh, and it, it it works for me. Well, I I really I'm really quite happy now with it. And, and you know what, I put, <laughs> I put this document in some way that was very obvious this morning. We've had in a, <laughs> and I can't find it. But what basically, what I can send you the video recording of the um, the session they had on success day. And all I've done really is I've taken that and put it into a document. So what do we do? And added a few extra bits like for me it's really important that people listen to the ending wearings make the phone your friend and i think you know to put also to put in you know they should read the gopro book to have a few extras like this might be a good idea as well so it's a, i know i've fallen down quite a few times with i know i've told somebody something and they say i haven't and then things aren't happening or i'm not too sure if i told somebody something or whatever with this i'm getting a much better structure where I can tick things off that I've actually gone through this with them. And if they know I'm doing that too, it shows them it's quite easy to follow this for them to do it with their team members. No, that's the plan for this afternoon stroke evening. I'm having a Misha here who is incredibly restless. <laughs> It's an instant day, and it's like, oh, I want to do something. We don't get spare Exactly. Because that was the thing. I thought I'd, I'd make my calls and stuff and then take him to the park or and park and then be locked. And it's just not, um, <laughs> not going to happen. No. So, hang on, 30 days. Oh, there we go, my first 30 days. If I can just drop that in there. That the weight and obesity market is predicted to be over 675 billion by 2015. And we have a mm. working product to fit into that sector. Amazing new tax to allow you to go and build your business in just that one sector. But if that wasn't enough, we've got incredible skincare products. Which yeah. Are great. That's the one I put together. And I think this is the one. We should get a YouTube link there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they, I think the last few weeks they haven't had a clue, really, have they? <laughs> really? Oh, Andy just said it looked and it said it's going to be like this with showers and windy and cold all afternoon. Was that the BBC one? Oh, I, okay. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> <coughs> no. But no. Places, not just here, but around the globe. Right, okay. Yeah. But I think with this planning stuff, if 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 how I look at it, if when you have a new person you sit down and you say, Okay, so this is what I'm planning to do with the next for the next week uh, month with you 
and I've got it organized here so that we know we can just tick things off. And of course, if you don't do things one way, then you can do it the others. But things like starting to build your list and starting to profile sheets and stuff, just to get them used to they have to do that. Because otherwise, if you don't do it, then things, you know, a month happens and they still haven't started thinking about who they're going to talk to. You know, traditional distribution and marketing is based on a model which was invented in the UK with the Industrial Revolution. And it starts with a manufacturer. So, are you, you breaking up on me? Check, did you say check on video five first? Along the way. And then it gets to a retailer and it then gets to customers. I think okay. we're all familiar with the shopping now type method. And if you look on the screen, you'll see that method. But what we do is far more straightforward. Okay. Rather than product, go manufacture and distribute. To yeah. people like you and me who are business owners, turn distributors. We then yeah. can supply product to consumers. It's a much shorter yeah. supply mm. route. And all the percentages that would have gone to those intermediary people now yeah. come over to us. We're very well rewarded for what we do. Therefore, we're very motivated. And we're motivated to give absolutely outstanding person to person service no Anything else we do no there's an opportunity as well and this is where the real excitement comes in what about the well we managed to do what we needed to do i needed to give you this th these things so that's really good um go on. you later branches. bye branches other business owners who service customers and in turn put out other branches. And what you finish up with eventually is a tree all stemming from the trunk and other businesses stemming from that same trunk. What are the advantages of doing what we do? Well, first thing is you get to decide what you want. It's not somebody telling you what you should want. It's for you to tell us what you want and then we'll help you get it. The other thing I really like, because 90% of the people who start with a start part-time, we did, is you get to choose your working hours around your other commitments. If we couldn't have started back in 1993 this way, we couldn't have started at all because we were heavily committed with our time. And the other thing is you're plugging into a simple and proven business system, both locally and internationally. Most people come to the business not knowing anything about this type of marketing, not knowing much about these types of products. You know, this is not a, a degree course, but you need to learn what you need to learn. And we have a very simple approach to training. It's small, digestible chunks. Okay? And there you see the areas of endeavor that we participate in with their own individual rewards. Let's go through some of those. That starts really with personal recommendation. You know, 90% of the people with us are not salespeople. They wouldn't, they wouldn't recognize a sales process if they saw it. But they sure as heck can use a product and recommend it to somebody else. And if they use the product and they develop 20 to 30 customers, we never had more than 30 customers in 20 years. Typically, they can expect to receive somewhere between 250 and 450 dollars a month. Now that wouldn't answer our needs with four children, but we thought, well, we can find some people for whom that would be a fantastic opportunity. And we did. Team building. You do what we just talked about, and now you begin to build a team of like-minded people. Business owners, entrepreneurial, distributors, that's what we call them. And if you build a team of 15 to 25 plus, all having their regular customers and using the products themselves, typically you can expect to access somewhere between a thousand and two and a half thousand dollars a month. You know, that is a significant sum of money. Remember, this is generally speaking on a part time basis. That makes a major difference in most households. What lies beyond that? Developing team builders, people like you all still using and recommending and introducing other people who do the same. And typically, these people access anywhere from $2,500 to 
to twenty-five thousand dollars plus 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 plus. <laughs> the sky is literally the limit that you decide is for you. We have an annual global performance bonus. We're halfway through the presentation for last year's performance. Um, it is an annual performance bonus. That's what it is. And you can see on the screen some of the people from last year. Um, we, we give out huge sums of money to the people who are doing the job. That seems fair to me. Um, and it's life-changing. We have an earned incentive program, which we in the UK affectionately call the car plan. And that's where you can qualify to receive up to $7,000 a year in monthly stages to buy the car that you want that's yours. We qualified for the first time in 1994, and we've been on this program ever since. You know, it's, it's really good, isn't it, when somebody else pays for the car that's yours. That really works for me anyway. Two free global trips per year. We in the UK love the word free. Free. It has a ring to it, doesn't it? <laughs> These are trips fully paid for by the company, including spending money. Um, last year it was Hawaii and Sardinia. Um, this year it's London and uh, Lake Tahoe. And we heard yesterday that the similar event next year is going to be in Cancun, but we don't... <laughs> that rings a few bells. Lovely place, we've been there a couple of times. And um, there's also this event location to be announced later today. And there are also further advantages of being involved in Forever. You can build a long-term residual income, which means you do the work today, this week, this month, this year, and the impact you have on people by doing that will reward you in years to come. Another great benefit is you get to work with like-minded people. Certainly for me, when I was in the workplace, I had to work with people who were put with me rather than who I chose to work with. You can also build a willable style legacy income. And being a mum, having four kids between us, knowing that what we were doing in building our business was going to be around for them and for their children was very, very inspirational. But that doesn't stop us teaching our kids to also go out and be successful on their own journeys as well. But to work hard today and leave a legacy is very beneficial. And one of the things that Forever do so brilliantly is they reward us and they appreciate us with the incentives they put on in our own countries and globally. Never before in anything that I've ever done have I felt so appreciated and cared for as not just myself, but I know each and every one of us do in forever. So, it sounds a bit too good to be true, doesn't it? And I see this response on many people when I sit down and share the opportunity with them. But you know, this isn't a get rich quick. This isn't a money for nothing. You do need to work hard, but hard work never killed any of us. You also need to be incredibly focused. You're not working for a boss now. This is your own independent business under the umbrella of this phenomenal company. So you need to be focused. You need to know what you're prepared to work for. You need to know what you're prepared to get up early in the morning for, stay up late at night for. Very important you are focused. You also need determination, because if I'm being totally honest with you, you are gonna have the journey of a lifetime, but occasionally there are gonna be tough days. Occasionally, there might be people that say no to you. Occasionally, there might be people who laugh at you and say, you're doing what? You don't need to worry about those people. You just need to be focused and determined on doing what you need to do to build the kind of business that's going to give you the lifestyle that's important to you. And you need to learn some new skills. My background was in farm management and horses. I was pretty good in that area. But when I came into Forever, I didn't understand any of it. But I was very, very open to saying, show me, teach me, teach me quickly so I can be successful. And I loved embracing the new ideas and the new skills needed to go from distributor to diamond. 
So once again, just to reiterate that, it is hard work that you need to put into your business for three to five years to become a millionaire. Who likes the idea of that? So, success factors. If you think and dream big and have a great attitude, everything will come your way. If you're coachable and take full advantage of all of the training that forever provide for you, your countries provide for you, and your business partners provide for you, you will be successful. If you are prepared to work closely with the person who has introduced you into forever, as well as with the people you introduce into forever, you will be successful. And I think most importantly is understand that you need to put time into building a business. It doesn't just happen overnight. You need to have a three to five year plan. And what's interesting in the world outside of forever, most people have no plan for their lives whatsoever. And they wake up one day in their 70s or 80s and they say, if only, what if I could have been? I didn't want my life to be like that. I wanted to be in control. So we always have a plan and we stick to it because we want to be the architects of our own destiny and not leave our lives in the hands of somebody else. So, the final piece of the jigsaw, you've got a great company, you've got amazing products, you've got the most generous marketing model in the whole of our industry. But what's the missing factor? What's the one thing that brings this all together? What's the one thing that determines success or just being average? And I believe it's knowing why. It's knowing why you are involved in forever. It's knowing why you're gonna get involved in the first place. It's knowing why you're even taking a look. And for us, that was easy when we first looked at forever. We were financially challenged. We had four great kids at home. We couldn't give them the life that we wanted to give them. And we certainly weren't living the life that we wanted to lead. For me, my why was private education, which was interesting because I only had 37 pounds in the bank and to educate the kids privately was going to cost many, many thousands of pounds a year. I also wanted to be financially free, not to worry about how to pay this bill and that bill, not to worry about can we eat out tonight, not to worry about can we take a holiday. I, of course, was driven forward by the debt. We had to clear that debt. It was crippling us, it was tearing our family apart. But I, when I thought about it, it was actually time. My years at the top end in corporate life, 14-hour days, six days a week, doing something I absolutely loathed, had robbed me of time with my family. You know, birthdays, are you kidding? Sports days? I knew other people went. That was what I was. I was time-starved. And you know, one of the real joys shortly after we started in the business, we're standing on the touch line, watching my son play rugby. He's actually in the room today. And I looked along the touch line and I thought, where are all the other dads? They're locked up in that hell that I'd been able to escape from. You know, and life is about choices, isn't it? You're all volunteers. You chose to come here today. And usually the choices are dictated by what you think. All right, so for those of you who are watching this for the very first time, either here or internationally, perhaps sometimes you have to change your thoughts because your thoughts will dictate actions. Now, we've given you a choice with forever. I guess there's one of three things you could do as a result of our brief presentation. You may say, well, I looked at it, seen it, it looks incredibly exciting, but I've got questions. There are things that I want to know before I commit. And that's fine, that's healthy. Perhaps, incredibly, your decision is no. Because the business can't be for everybody, can it? You know, we'd respect that decision. I hope you understand we wouldn't agree with it. But if that is your decision, at least try the products. I've been on these products 20 years. I know how good they are and how good I feel 
And that's the key thing. And, you know, you may know other people who would welcome the products as well, or the opportunity. Or if you're anything like Jane and I were, we didn't really understand it the first time we saw it, but we looked at each other and said, yes. Yes. This is the opportunity to have a great life. So, in the final analysis, make a decision. That's all we ask of you. Whatever your decision, just give it the due diligence that I believe you and this company deserve. Thank you so much for sharing your time with us.